All right, boys and girls. So today we are going to be learning to make this bad boy rocket over here. So as you can see, um, we have something that looks like a rocket and I'm able to control it with the arrow keys. So when I go up, it goes up. When I press down, it goes down, left and right. We got this cool crosshair thing that's just showing us the X and Y coordinates of different points on our canvas. And then we have these sliders over here that can be used to change the red, green, and blue values of our background, giving us different backgrounds depending on what we give it. And turn off the show grid by pressing that checkbox. So this is a cool, fun introductory project to P5. Um, we also cover some good maths topics here from algebra, properties of shapes, and the coordinate system. With that being said, let's jump in. So There'll be a link in the description to follow along with this code editor, repel.it, then you'll see something that looks like this. Close the files on the left here so we have some more space. Now we're using a coding library called P5.js, which allows us to write and draw cool stuff to the screen. And P5.js has two major functions, setup and draw. Setup is what's called first, and after setup is called, draw is called. So setup initializes everything, sets everything up, and draw, draws. Shakara. So with that being said, the thing we need to always give setup is our canvas. So we can, we use the following command, create canvas, and we tell the canvas how big it needs to be in pixels wide and pixels high. So I'll say 600 by 600. Click run. I shouldn't see anything because canvas by default has a white background. If I use the background command and I put red, now we should see a red square. So we can change whatever color here. We just put in the name of the color. And what's important is you've got to put it in quotation marks. So that's how we can set the background. Now, coming back to the rocket, we can see that we have um, a rectangle and three triangles, one on top and two on the side. So these are going to be what we're going to draw. For this class, we're just going to worry about drawing this, just the static image of the rocket. And in future classes, we're going to worry about movement and color and stuff like that. So to draw a rectangle, let's start by giving it a black, by using a black background. Um, we can do the following. Um, you need to use the command RECT. And RECT, as you can see from this pop-up here, takes in four arguments, four numbers. Um, the first two numbers is the X and Y coordinates of the top left corner of the rectangle. So let's put 200, 200. The next two numbers is the width and the height of the rectangle. So let's give it a width of 100 and a height of 200. I'll click run, and we got a nice pretty rectangle over there. The next step is that we need a triangle to go on top and on the sides of the rectangle. So in order to draw a triangle, we use the triangle command, and the triangle command works by giving three sets of numbers. And those three sets of numbers are the different coordinates of the triangle's vertices, edges, or corners. So let's just put random numbers. Let's go like 100, 200, 50, and 20, and 300, 400. Let's see what that's. We're going to get a very funny looking triangle. But there we go. That's what our triangle looks like. Because we've told it, so this is our first coordinate, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So the 300, 400 is this coordinate right over there. The 100, 200 is this coordinate over there, and the 50, 20 is that coordinate over there. And the triangle command just draws a line between all of those coordinates. The challenge, however, is that we need to get this triangle to sit on top of the rectangle at particular positions. So we're going to jump into a whiteboard to draw this out. And this is the best thing you guys can do in regards to actually like visualizing or trying to understand what's going on, is to draw it out Draw your axes, draw your shapes, give them coordinates, and try and work out the coordinate values of the different points. So let's start by drawing our axis. Um, I'm going to put our x-axis that goes from left to right, and our y-axis, which goes from the top to the bottom. Okay, so we know that We've made our page 600 by 600, so we know that over here, this is going to be 600, and our y max is going to be 600. The top left corner, what's called our origin, is 0, 0. Now, 
let's draw our rectangle. This isn't going to be according to scale, but it's still just a useful tool to understand what's going on. So we'll draw a rectangle, let's say over here, like that. Now, we know we've given this rectangle already coordinates. So uh, the first two commands or arguments of the rectangle function or command specifies the top left corner, which is over here, right? So you're looking at what is your X coordinate and what is your Y coordinate. We gave it 200, 200. We want the following though. We now want a triangle that looks like that, okay? We need to define the height of a triangle. We haven't, it could be any height you want it to be, but let's just say that our perpendicular height of our triangle is 50. So now, in order to draw this triangle, we need to specify these three coordinates. This coordinate on the left, this coordinate at the top, and this coordinate on the side. So we have one of them already, 200, 200. Let's use a different color for each coordinate. So this coordinate over here, that is 200, 200. Let's do this coordinate over here. So we know that this is 200, 200, and we know that the width of our rectangle is 100. So if we're starting at 200 and we go 100 to the right, we get to 300. So that coordinate is therefore 300, and our y is remaining the same, 200. Our y doesn't change. We're not moving up and down. We've only moved left and right. Now when you work out what that coordinate is, the top corner, let's put it in purple. We're looking for that and that. Make it clear just for this one is where it's coordinates. So here, that is 300. So for this point, we know that we're going halfway across this rectangle. So let's start with the x coordinate. So we're going halfway across the rectangle over here. So we're moving 50 to the right. So we're starting at 200 and we move 50 to the right. We end up at 250. Our y, we're starting at 200 and we know we're changing by 50. Now the mistake everyone this is, this is where it gets a bit tricky. Does our y increase or decrease? And the way you can always work it out is think about where is y starting and where is y ending. So we know that y is starting over here at 0, and it's ending at 600. Here is 200. So I've gone from 0 to 200 by moving down, and I've gone from 200 to 600 by moving down. So now I'm moving up, so y must decrease. So our y here is going to be 200 minus 50, which gives us 150. So our coordinate for that point then is 250 for x, 150 for y. Let's go ahead and code it and see what that looks like. So 200, 200, 300, 200, 250, 150. Bada bing, bada boom. We've got a nice triangle at the top of our rocket. Okay, so we have that done. We now need to do the two kind of wings or tails of, of the rocket. So let's, as always, we're going to draw them in. So we want something that looks kind of like that, hopefully a little bit better because my drawing is not particularly great, but it should give you the right idea. Again, we need to set the dimensions of the height and the width of this triangle. So let's say that our height is 80 and our width is 50. We need to work out those three coordinates, these three, in order to draw that triangle. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So we know that this line over here, so let's, let's, start, let's start with these two coordinates over here. Okay, we know that this line, that's our x line and that's 300. We're not changing. We're not moving left and right. So that means our x position is going to stay the same for these two points. So for both of those points, we'll do it in separate colors for each one. Um, hopefully I don't run out of colors. Let's do this one. We know that that x is going to be 300. Okay. It's, we'll come back to its y. Let's work out all of our x's. Um, now this point over here, it's also going to be 300. This one, we've moved to the right by 50. So we've gone 300, we've moved to the right by 50. So that point is going to become 350. 350. Okay. Now let's work out our Ys. Our Ys are a little bit more tricky, but similar kind of thinking. We know that this over here is 200. 
and we know that the height of our rectangle is 100. A lot of numbers and a lot of colors. So we're starting at 200 and we're going 100 down to get to the bottom of our rectangle. So that means over here, I draw a line across, staying in the same color, I draw a line across, I would have gone down by, oh no, sorry, this is 200, not 100. Our height of our rectangle is 200, not 100, and we'd have a square. So we've gone down by 200. Um, and if we go down by 200, we get to 400. So we're starting 200, we move down 200, we get to 400. So that means this Y position is 400. It's the same for the pink point, because our Y, we're not going up and down. So that's going to be 400. Now, the green one needs us to do a little bit of thinking. If we're at 400, and now we go 80 up, because we've set our height of our triangle to be 80, then we're going 400 minus 80, 320. Cool, we've got our coordinates. Let's put them in. So I'm copy-paste the triangle command. And I'll press this button over here just to format it nicely. And let's put it in. 300, 320, x1, y1. Uh, 300, 400, x2, y2. And 350, 400. Run. And boom, look at that. So we've got one wing. Now we need to do the other side. So two options. One, go back into the whiteboard or onto your piece of paper and draw it out in order to find it. I'm going to do a bit of a more challenging approach, which you're welcome to join me in. I'm going to try and just work it out mentally um, off of this. And the more you do this, the quicker you'll be able to, to work out all of these different coordinates. So I'll copy paste the triangle command. If I hit run again, it's just putting one triangle on top of the other. So you can't see it. But now I have this triangle going like that. I know I'm going to move it over to the side. And I know that my width of my rectangle is 100. So if I'm moving everything to the left by 100, my x decreases by 100. So I'm going to change these x coordinates to 200. If I click run again, I can see we're getting close. But it's the one corner is wrong. So we have two points, which is right. That point and that point is right, but it's going all the way over there. So this x coordinate, this x3, that's 350, which lines up over there. We want that to go to the left. So we know the top left corner is 200. Is 200. We know that the, we go to the left by 50 because we said that the width of our triangle is 50. So we go from 200 minus 50, 150. And just like that, we've got a beautiful rocket that's ready for liftoff. So that is lesson one or the first part of this. Next, we're going to be looking at movement and color and other cool stuff.